Now, patient presents to you with blisters which has a woody surface and is extremely painful. This is a classical, classical, classical uh, case looking like these, all these things are kept in a, in a, what you can say, in a differential diagnosis. But it cannot be a DVT because in DVT, we generally don't see such kind of presentation. Blisters are not there, but yes, in the late stages, in the late stages, when we talk about uh, phlegmasia, cerulea, dolens, you might have when the patient has developed a gangrene, then this patient might develop. When we talk about gangrene, if you talk about gangrene, there will be some, you can say, uh, some line of demarcation in the gangrene. So, it's it would not be like healthy part here and dead part here. It would have been dead here also because this is the most distal part. Yeah. The next thing that we need to understand, woody, this is what is very, very, very important. This woody presentation is a classical that we get to see in cellulitis also and necrotizing fasciitis. But in necrotizing fasciitis, we have this boggy swelling also. So, cellulitis, clinically, since the information is not provided, cellulitis is far better option than necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis starts with a deeper layer and there will be pus. So, this woody tendency was not there. So, this image was there? No, this was not there. So, okay. So, this is what is B is better than C. B is better than C. I hope that's clear to everyone. Okay. Next is a patient with aortic dissection involves uh, the hiccups. This is due to what irritation? So, first of all, bache, aorta, if it is irritated, why will you have hiccups? It is because of the irritation to phrenic nerve. This is what a spinal accessory is going to supply to your trapezius. That will have be a different thing. That will be a pain radiating to the scapula or tip of the shoulder. But it is a very easy equation. It's a phrenic nerve which is going to cause this. Best in investigation to understand the renal perfusion students, MAC3. So, we have MAC3. This is what is very, very, very important. So, DMSA is for the structure assessment, structural assessment. And MAC3 or DTPA scan, MAC3 or DTPA scan. Oh, I'm glad that thought was, <laughs> okay, okay, cellulitis is right for this. So, MAC3 and DTPA scan are for the renal perfusion. DMSA scan is for the structural assessment. Retrograde RGU, this is for uh, the urethral injury. And CT urography is for bladder trauma. So, I hope you know that the answer here is A, bladder trauma is going to be related to CT urography. Next is, a patient with cystic swelling in the floor of the mouth in the, you can say, in the capsule which we have revised, FMG ATS series. There, I have shown this image. Floor of the mouth with bluish red, transillumination is positive. What are you looking for? Renula. And remember, dermoid cyst, it is non-transillumined. It is non-transillumined, point number one. The second point is, it is also whitish, whitish. Are you getting this? So, it is not a sublingual cyst or sublingual. Basically, sublingual cyst is a broader term which you can say. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Lal was saying, lie saying, sir, for the cellulitis question, it was mentioned, swelling goes beyond the red. So, it's a renewal. In this case, in this case, it is more of what cellulitis than necrotizing fasciitis in this case. However, students, they are all interconnected things. Cellulitis is a superficial presentation. Necrotizing fasciitis starts with the lower surface. So, there the edema is below or you can say the abscess formation is there. So, the tissues are dovey and boggy. They are not woody. The word woody with such kind of blister like presentation means that it is starting from the superficial part. Next is, so kidney stones removed the patient. Now, I want to ask you about the correct options for this. So, kidney stones were removed. Patient presents with flank pain after 4 to 5 years. Now, 4 to 5 years, the patient is having flank pain with a foreign body on the imaging. So, this is a DJ stent. I don't know this was the image or no. With a foreign body here. So, what you have to go for, it should not be cystoscopy. It should be URS. So, uretroscopic, uretroscopic, uretroscopic retrieval. Yeah, retro. Remember, why will you go for laparotomy? And why will you go for cystoscopic removal? So, this option is, I think this option is itself doubtful. So, someone who has recorded this doesn't know that the laparotomy is open 
and cystoscopy is the what is the endoscopic version so this option doesn't mean rgu is a diagnostic test why will we leave a foreign body inside try to understand so if this was the image you will have to go for ureteroscopic removal or a rhinoscopic removal nothing other so i think it should be uh, endoscopy not cystoscopy because if you talk about cystoscopy it will only go to bladder it will not be able to go to the ureteric level so this is at the level of puj or maybe uh, the just proximal one third of the ureter so if this was the image it should be endoscopic removal of the foreign body this would be the most probable answer i have corrected this yes so uh, i hope you understood the concept what should be i don't know about the correct options i have just corrected it for you people so uh, next is what are you getting this again a bladder a bladder with benzidine explosion this is an increase uh, there is an increased risk of what carcinoma bladder and this is nothing but urothelial cancer so when you talk about urothelial cancer what is the next step you are going to go into the bladder resect it off why we resect it a bit deep why we resect it be deep because we want to know the diagnosis not only diagnosis we want to know the grade and along with this we also want to know the status of muscle invasion and that is why we go right up to the junction of urothelium with the muscle and this is what is known as turbt trans urethral resection of bladder tumor cystoscopy was mentioned in both the options so bachche how will you remove this with cystoscopy so now just now just try to understand so if this is the cystoscopy now if this is the cystoscopy then this image is wrong why because this is a patient underwent the kidney stones now you are looking at the what dj stent so if the options now i have the confidence since you people have told now this is an incidental stone don't look at the stone if this is there so incidental stone there is an incidental stone so if there is an incidental stone you will go for ureteroscopic removal for the stone for stone and when you talk about the foreign body it is the dj stent so you will go for cystoscopy and removal of the stent also but had i got this image i would have also looked okay there is a stent that is different but there is a remnant of the stone also so i would have gone for urs when doing a ureteroscopic removal i would have removed the stone also and i pulled out the stent also are you getting this is what is but anyways if you have confirmed that this was the image so dj stent was there patient might have not returned back because many a times once you do a pcnl you don't uh, many of the time the patient doesn't turn up to you you have put a stent to avoid the post operative edema related obstruction of urinary tract and the, the rule is you have to call the patient after 10 days and say okay come then in opd only will insert a cystoscope and take out this tube that is dj stent patient might have missed it so in this case yes then if this was the option then cystoscopic removal of the foreign body so yes it is right cystoscopic removal if this was the image and if you are saying that okay endoscopy word is not written or ureteroscopy is not written so cystoscopic removal of the foreign body means that you will pull the with a cystoscope you will pull out the classical dj stent which has been left over i hope you got so i was just waiting for you people to tell me the right options so when you talk about this you will go for trans urethral resection of the bladder tumor this is what is very 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 important students radical cystectomy will be done only once the diagnosis is there here you don't have anything so it should be tur bt not turp why trans either you write tur trans urethral resection if you are writing tur p that means for prostate so this is a bladder tumor that is not iv bcg will be given in intravesical bcg will be given when you have post tur bt high grade or maybe carcinoma in c2 do refer to my lectures on alan next for the bladder tumors i have beautifully described the correct regimen that we follow so whenever we have a suspected patient with painless hematuria we go for the cystoscopic evaluation of that along with that urine for cytology once we see something we have to go and resect it off to check what it is whether it is muscle invasive or not if it is muscle invasive then you will have to go for cystectomy if it is not then you have to plan intravesical chemotherapy or intravesical bcg so intravesical bcg will only be done once you have the diagnosis that it's a grade 3 or a carcinoma in c2 are you getting me this is what is very 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 simple next is a patient with thyroid malignancy serum calcitonin was found to be very high leave everything the answer is medullary thyroid cancer it's a very easy 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 question now 6 year old came with midline swelling which moves with protrusion of the tongue protrusion of the tongue so midline swelling midline swelling 
विच मूव्स विद डीग्लूटेशन विद मूव्स विद डीग्लूटेशन आंसर इज द थाइरॉइड स्वेलिंग कैन ऑल्सो मूव विद दिस एंड द थाइरोग्लॉसल डक्ट कैन ऑल्सो मूव विद दिस बट वेन इट कम्स टू प्रोट्यूशन ऑफ द टंग इट इज द थाइरोग्लॉसल डक्ट विच इज कनेक्टेड और इट्स रेमनेट्स आर कनेक्टेड बाई फाइब्रस कॉड विद द बेस ऑफ द टंग बिकॉज द ओरिजिन ऑफ द मीडियल एंड लार्ज एंड थाइरोग्लॉसल डक्ट इज सेम so what is the surgery n block cystectomy n block cystectomy what is n block cystectomy this is what is very 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 important ah uh, yes that is cystoscopy with the removal of tumor okay so if students if 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 let me tell you if if it is turp and cystoscopy these two are the options b will be the answer not the c because it should be turbt i hope uh, somi was it T U R P written or T U R B T written? If T U R P was written, then T U R P will never be the answer. It is then the best answer would be cystoscopy and removal. Had it been T U R B T, so it should be T U R B T either. So I hope you people will tell me because you people have given was T U R B T given. If that was given, that should have been the answer. So what is N-block cystectomy? Removal of the cyst and along with that, along thyroglossal duct cyst. and along with that you will also remove the central part of the central part of the hyoid are you getting this this is what is very 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 simple so you people will tell me whether turbt was there or no in esophageal cancer the post radiation weight loss is due to esophageal fibrosis and why because this is going to lead to loss of peristalsis loss of peristalsis due to fibrosis will cause dysphagia and this is very 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 important again so all of them can happen but gerd is not the reason so it is a which is which is very important answer here no other answer can justify it so if turp uh, mr live was there so then this should be the option should be b cystoscopy with the removal of the bladder that is bladder tumor that was that is known as turbt in intraoperative blood loss if there is intraoperative blood loss what is the fluid that should be given already remember during the surgery you are giving the saline so now already the patient is losing the blood the best replacement the best replacement is blood with blood this is what is very 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 important what is this shawl solution ah huh? it's not lemon water lemon soda so it is in this case it's a very easy question